Frodo Baggins. I give you the light of Erendil, our most beloved star. Life is funny. One minute you're dealing with make-believe media in a studio that slanders a literary giant's masterpiece, and the next fate's fingers reach through the universe to weave J.R.R. Tolkien's monumental mythology into the heavens. Welcome, Slayer Nation. I hope you're all doing great. I've got some good news for you today. Space.com has an article about a remarkable discovery, a star whose light has spent almost 13 billion years to travel to us so we can see it. This wonder that we witness has now been named Yarendil. The Silmarillion has come to life in Tolkien's beloved half-elven mariner who carried a Silmaril across the sky now joins the cosmos. We're seeing a, a star, you know, either an individual star, perhaps a binary star, but it's so far away. It's kind of mind blowing. Uh, the, the light actually took about 13 billion years to get to us. It's fantastic news, my friends. Tolkien's Aya, his dream and legacy are now permanently fixed in the firmament forever. But before we get into this pace, if this is your first time here, I invite you to take a moment, it's just a minute, and push the subscribe button down below and join the conversation at George the Giant Slayer. Now, the headline of this article reads, Meet Iarendil, Hubble Telescope's most distant star discovery gets a Tolkien-inspired name. How can you not like that? You know, the Hubble telescope is a magnificent piece of technology. It was launched in 1990. It's about as long as a school bus and weighs almost around two adult male African bush elephants. But its imagery and its research has changed our understanding of the universe. One of my favorite images is of Saturn's rings, where the sun sets right below the ring plane. Amazing. And now it is assisted in the discovery of a new star. A team of researchers led by Brian Welch, an astrophysicist at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, announced Wednesday, March 30th, that with observations from Hubble, they have discovered the most distant single star ever before seen. And while the star's technical designation is WHL0137-LS, they gave it a much catchier name. Yarendel. And as NASA astronomer Michelle Fowler confirmed to Space.com, the name is, in fact, inspired by Tolkien's fantasy writing. While Amazon spins its wheels maligning Middle Earth, we have just been given a gift and they have been served a warning. It has now been revealed the true scale and scope of the fellowship. Its hand, the true lovers of the legendarium, reaches all the way around the world, touching everyday people in all walks of life. And now we can add to that list astrophysicists, astronomers, heliophysicists, Earth and planetary scientists. So that this star, which has the wonderful name of Arendelle, and uh, that's actually uh, that's actually from Tolkien. That, that's you know that's actually from the Lord of the Rings, uh, the Silmarillion. Actually, uh, you know, obviously there is the meaning behind the name that the star was given, Arendelle. But I imagine that perhaps the person who discovered the star, perhaps you, perhaps members of the team are Tolkien fans. Yeah, we are. So the, 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 uh, the, the young man who discovered the star picked the name and it's from the Silmarillion, you know, from, uh, from Tolkien and, uh, you know, and, and, and yeah, I mean, I, I have, uh, elvish tattoos. So, yeah, oh, we, we're Tolkien fans. We love science fiction. <laughs> we love fantasy. And, um, it means the dawn star in old English. And that's wonderful because this star, the reason they chose that name, it, it's from the dawn of time. Amazon has no clue, no idea what's coming for them if they continue to disrespect Tolkien's masterwork. But while this distant star, which lies a whopping 12.9 billion light years from Earth, might not be from the absolute first generation of stars in existence, it is the most distant single star ever found. So the name seems quite fitting. And that it is. Fantastic news. Think about it. Amazon is doing everything they can to disregard, disrespect the lore and malign J.R.R. Tolkien. Amazon has proved themselves unworthy. They are only Midas to money and a Judas, a true traitor to Tolkien. But today, Providence stepped up and showed the studio just how small it is in the grand scheme of things. 
because the lovers of the lore are around the world. We're not like Star Wars or Marvel or DC fans. We come from every aspect of society. And we hold true to our principles and the passion in our hearts guides us, not only from dream to dream and from hope to hope, but from fight to fight. So now, fate has reached out and scribed Tolkien's legacy into the heavens forever. And I love it. And remember, never bow down, never bend the knee. Firmly defy and step up, stand tall, and get busy living your best life now. Always forward.